What's happening, Golf and Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just got something and I got to show it to you. So I've used a lot of golf trainers in the past, everything from those uh, hockey stick weighted golf sticks to like arm restriction devices to the little squeeze thing you hold under your arm and just about everything in between and taking a number of lessons over the years too. But I found uh, this new training tool which is different than pretty much everything else I've tried. It really has some unique advantages. So first of all, let me just show you what I have here. They're called the Bam Boom Whistle Sticks. And I have five of them here. You just grab a couple of them, right? So we've got two here, thick and a thin one. And then we also have them in different lengths. So if I grab this one here, as you can see, let's get them lined up there. And you can see clearly different lengths there. They just look actually like baseball bats. And the other thing that's really nice about these is that they are made incredibly well. So they're bamboo, so they're natural wood. They have that heavy wood feel to them. They feel really durable. If I didn't know better, I would have actually expected them or kind of suspected of them of being some sort of polyester because they have a really glossy paint finish on them. Now they also are black blended into white with a white grip, which is actually shows you how much attention they pay, pay to the details. This actually says uh, bamboo stick on the, the grips itself and obviously a, a traditional golf grip on there. But <laughs> I love the two colors blended here. My very first set of clubs were Wilson Fire Sticks. This reminds me of them, they were red and black. And so, I don't know, I'm a little partial to it. <laughs> but uh, the bamboo stick here is really interesting. And what makes it most interesting is right there on the tip, you can see there's actually two whistles built into the end of the stick and they're uh, drilled all the way through. Now, these whistles will make sounds as air passes through them. Uh, but they will only make sounds if enough air is passing through them. And so you have to get the club head in this case, the club head, up to a certain speed where they'll even chirp. And not only that, you have to get the speed, but you also have to have uh, the air going directly in them. So if the club head is turned uh, at an angle and the air can't really jet right through it, it's not gonna make the sound either. So they're kind of interesting because one, you've gotta get your club head speed up and you'll know when your max club head speed is, is hit because you'll hear the chirp. And then secondly, you'll also have to uh, keep the club head flat at to the point of impact in order to get that chirp. So that's gonna be a really great trainer, not only for making sure that you're hitting, uh, you know, and swinging as fast as you can and really creating that club head speed at the moment of impact, but you're gonna get that audible feedback so that you can keep trying time after time without having to go back to recordings or look at data to, to make those adjustments. All right, so I'm out here with my, not the bamboo sticks, bamboo sticks and my golf clubs and I want to show you how to use these things. These bamboo sticks do a number of things. They aren't just kind of a one trick pony and so I've got my uh, I've got a long iron here and I just want to step up because I'm going to actually uh, use the microphone on my camera because I need to capture the ambient noise because that's part of it. Those little whistles are a big part of it and I want you to kind of experience what you're going to hear if you're uh, you know using these. So if you just have your golf club uh, the one way that you use these is you just use your regular club. If you're a driving range, uh, you got your wiffle balls out, whatever it might be, you know, you just want to take some normal swings, hit some balls. If you have the ability to uh, record your club head speed or the ball speed, uh, you know, those are going to be great tools. But, you know, for a lot of us who don't have that equipment, I think it's going to be just as easy. You'll see results. Um, so just hit some balls with your club and then switch over to the bamboo sticks. Now, there's a little bit of a process here, and this is the 50 inch kind of lightweight, as you can see, it's kind of that thin baseball bat. Uh, you're gonna use these things just like a golf club. And the first thing you're gonna do is start with this long one, even though it's pretty lightweight, uh, you can see that the whistles here are drilled through, and so you want those perpendicular to your swing here, and you're gonna line it up just like you would a normal club. So I have those whistles pointing that way. Just make sure I have them the right way. And then you're just gonna take a normal golf swing, and you're gonna take oh, eight swings, maybe more. And what you can hear there as I'm swinging it, that little chirp. And now what you really wanna do is to get that chirp uh, at the point of impact. You really want your club head speed to kind of be maxed right at the point of impact. Now what I can tell already is that my max club head speed is after the point of impact. This may not be coming across on the video quite as well, but 
It also means that you maybe want to cast a little earlier in your swing to make sure that you're hearing that chirp right at the point of impact. I can't believe actually it's that loud. It's pretty amazing. So I didn't take as many swings there as I could have, but you're going to do that with the 50 bamboo stick. Then you're going to switch down to the shorter 45 heavy. Now you can see here, this one is much thicker. And again, we're going to do the exact same thing. Just going to make sure the whistle holes are lined up perpendicular to my swing. And obviously I can tell this is much shorter. Just going to take a natural golf swing here. And you're going to swing this one about eight times. And again, the same thing, because it's so much heavier, you're going to have to really kind of get into that swing a little earlier to get that chirp. Again, you're going to do this eight times. And the nice thing about this particular one, because it's much heavier, much heavier than a club, much heavier than the other bamboo sticks, is this is going to really help your tempo, I think. It's also going to create some resistance on your muscles. So you're going to build up muscles very much like swinging a baseball bat in the batter's box, you know, when they put a weight on it. And then the next thing you're going to do is take the same length, the 45, but light. You can see here how thin this one is. Again, line it up, take, a, take some swings, and this is going to feel so much lighter than the last one. And, you know, your swing is going to be better than mine, but this is going to allow you to, one, have a number of practice swings in there, get loose, have some additional weight to kind of build up that muscle, help you time your swing to the chirp. And then after you do that, you're gonna go back to your regular club, which is now gonna feel like a featherweight. It's gonna feel like a number two pencil in your hands and start taking some swings. And I think it's gonna feel a lot easier. You're gonna have that timing down, you know, so if you're going late, you're gonna be able to now get your club head speed up earlier. And if you're getting your max speed too early, it's going to allow you to slow down that tempo. And I think you're going to see and what they advertise is anywhere from 15 to 25 mile per hour added to your hits by using the bamboo sticks. And I don't doubt it because one, they're great for muscle training, but then also in the piece de resistance is those whistles in there, which really tell you when you're achieving max velocity. And that's really, really something because I've seen a lot of different products that will do one or the other, but none that do both. And none that do them in kind of a low tech fashion like that, that this is really one, very portable. You can take them anywhere to any golf venue, but then two, you know, at this price point, it's pretty amazing. So these things are under 60 bucks. Uh, they're great if you want a few of them so that you can do the training in between. Uh, I think this will really improve your golf game. You know, it's taken me from a 40 handicap to a scratch play. No, but it's helped me not be totally embarrassed on the golf course. So check them out. I will put a link to these bamboo sticks in the description below. I got them on Amazon. They're amazing. Check it out. Peter Von Panda. Out.